knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 right for the particulars inside gentlemen, the octagon of Bruce This is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! All right, bring through the rules of the locker room. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, clean fight. underway and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC just out of range with the big right hand I mean he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Hands up, hands up. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Trying to establish that jab once again. Looks like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Big kick land. Checks that leg kick. What a tricky head kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big leg kick land. Beautiful punch. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, 
blocks the shot. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Right under the elbow by the kick man. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. He is all about that left kick to the body. Beautiful kick. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Good stick. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing them with that type of intensity. Right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Great punch. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Nice kick there by Lee. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chops the wood with those leg kicks. And they separate. Right hand on point. Big call from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Five minutes in the books. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Flips the punch nicely there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. So how about the speed on that? Oh, pretty good entry there. And he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. Beautiful takedown into the full guard. 
Look for him to posture and use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Hey, scramble, get out. Scramble, scramble. Three minutes remain in the round. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Under two minutes to go in the round. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, right in the mouth. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. I mean, how many can he take? Under a minute now to go in the round. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Back and forth we go. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Final seconds here of round number two. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Nice job. I thought you were gonna knock him out of the octagon. This round, he knows you're gonna come hard, so he's gonna be ready. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready? round. High Ready? number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Punch over the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, 
flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, <laughs> stop it. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush. And now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage. And you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red. It's all beat up. He's limping. He's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Head kick. What a punch. Big head kick land. And they separate. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Nice counter left hook. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Just unable to quite find that range. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big kick lands. Slips. Back and forth we go. How about that shin? Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Digging kick. Lee's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Beautiful body kick. Nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. There you go. Look for the shot. Not there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh man, head to win. Of inches right there, Damn, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, so educated. He's so able to fight from both fighting stances. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. <laughs> you are battering that nose. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Can't take many of those. You better check. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, you ready? You ready? Let's go, fuck. Ooh, what a punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice leg kick land. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't tell 
telegraph that one at all. Big kick land. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Real quick leg kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. You get the turnover in that kick. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. It should never be a stationary target, but even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Two minutes remain in the round. Man, that hurts to watch as he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. He has continued to target that area after landing that huge liver shot earlier in the fight. Nice kick. Throws the right hand there. That was a thudding leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Giving the plan exactly where you want. Back to the well with the uppercut, now it's true. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Lunges forward with a left there. Right punches there. Nice punch there by Lee. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed this kick with so much force. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big head kick. Oh, collar tie. Twenty minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had, his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. That's right. He's winning the slugfest. That's a type of fight he wants. 
this one. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Big body kick. Good punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice head kick. Back and forth we go. Oh, huge block. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice kick. Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live and in color. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Watch knees to the body. Right hand good on the counter. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Just a slip there. Left hook counter there yet again. Out of range with that kick attempt. Able to check that kick as well. Went for the inside leg kick. Well placed kick there by Lee. It's a good knee to the body. Just out of the range with that right hand. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. Beautiful leg kick thrown. And just misses with that big right hand. Ooh, what a head kick. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Way to hide that leg kick. Good punch, Lance. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice one-two there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Useful. Lead right hand, that'll work. Clean with the right hook. Big kick lands. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Under a minute now to go in this one. Big head kick land. Oh, big punch land. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Lands flush with that right hand. Big kick. Able to land there with the straight left. Left. Oh, Thunderous leg kick around his opponent. Tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this one. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Great 
what a fight! All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Clearing the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon!